Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to SPI Health and Safety's webinar. Uh, my name is Amélie Leduc, and I'm a marketing advisor here at SPI. Thank you for uh, being with us on this December 12th, close to the Christmas holidays. I'm very happy to be with you and discuss hand protection, but more uh, we want to show you today uh, all you need to know about the NCICA, ISCEA, sorry, 105-16 standard, the applications and the levels of protection, uh, which will be presented by Superior Glove. Uh, actually, I have the privilege to be accompanied by our hand protection expert from Superior Glove, Ray DiBello. Good afternoon, Ray. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here with us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Uh, Ray has, has been uh, the territory manager for Montreal as well as the east of Ontario uh, at Superior Gloves for the past 23 years. But I do think you've been in the business for 32 years in total. 32 years. I'm, yeah, I'm young. I'm, yep. a, I'm a young kid in this. Yeah. In this <laughs> a field. junior, a, a, a junior. real junior. Yeah, I'm junior. <laughs> All right. Uh, for, again, thanks for being with Thank us. You. Um, at SPI for us, it's important to uh, create awareness and to educate you folks on how to adopt a preventive approach, always for the sole purpose of making sure that you and your workers will go home safe and sound. So this is our main purpose today. Uh, just a few technical information. The webinar will last for about 30 to 45 minutes uh, max. We'll answer your question either at the end of the webinar, we'll keep a few minutes, but also throughout the webinar. If you do have a question, something is not clear, you need some clarification or you have an idea you'd like to share, feel free to use the chat box on your screen. It'll be our pleasure to answer it. And if we are unable to do so at the moment, be sure that we will um, respond uh, after the webinar through email on an individual basis or again at the end of the presentation. Uh, obviously, uh, well, I just wanted to re reiterate that uh, this webinar is being recorded. Uh, we do invite you to stay until the end because we do have a surprise uh, by Superior Glove. But if you, some of your workers were not able to join in today, you will receive a uh, link and you will be able to watch the rebroadcast at your convenience. So without further delay, um, I will, we're going to start with an interactive, a few questions in order to get to know you better. However, um, as we mentioned in the, the the promotion and the invitation we sent you by email, Superior Glove has reserved a surprise for the participants who will participate actively in the webinar. Uh, we, won't we won't tell you what the surprise is as of yet, but we... Um, we need to let you know that in order to get that surprise, you need to answer the following three interactive questions. So they're very quick questions, but if you do answer them all, you'll be able to know what the surprise is at the end of the webinar. So first of all, uh, we want to know, quick question, do you have an OHS department in your company? So we'll give you a few seconds on your screen. You can choose A or B, yes or no. Perfect. So for the people who just joined in, those three interactive following questions that we're going to be asking are uh, mandatory if you want to receive the Superior Glove Surprise. So let's see the results of uh, if uh, how many companies do have um, an OHS department in their company. So 56% yes, and actually 44% don't. Are you surprised by no, that? Not no, not at all. Not at all? Not at all. I thought it would be more. I'm I'm kind of surprised, but uh, interesting. Okay, so next question is, in the last year, have you had any uh, hand injuries in your company? Is it A, not at all, no injuries? Did you have a few injuries, a little bit or a lot? So A, B, or C? Not at all, a little bit, or a lot? I'll give you a few seconds to answer. Perfect. So 40% of the people did not have any hand injuries, which That's is amazing. great. Yes. Yeah. And 60%. A little bit. A little bit. So I'm, I can say I'm glad to say I don't see a lot. Yeah. <laughs> which means people are, are maybe already educated or aware. The wearing the, the, the right protection. Yep. Great. Okay. So third but not the least, we want to know at what stage, what stage, sorry, is your hand protection program? So is it A, you don't have a hand protection program, but you would like to create one? 
Is it B, that you're just starting to assess various programs? Is it C, that you've started a program but would need help with assessment and recommendations or me even maybe an audit? And D, you've completed a program. So we'll give you a few seconds again to answer. So for those who just joined in, uh, be aware that in order to get the superior love surprise, you need to answer those three interactive questions. And the surprise will be announced at the end of the webinar. We'll keep that uh, suspense for, yeah, we'll keep that suspense going until the end. <laughs> All right. So. The results, 20% of the people don't have a program but uh, wish to create one. 70% are starting to investigate uh, a program. They're starting to assess various programs. And 10% just completed a program. Just to give you the heads up, uh, you probably noticed that the full sentences in the, the survey questions uh, were different. It's just a matter of not having enough space to write the, the exact same sentence. So they're not mistakes, just so you know, we often have the comment. But uh, all right. So are you surprised, Ray, about... Uh, the 70%. We're just starting to investigate in a program. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they have to be careful. Um, choose the right product and hopefully this this webinar will help them to choose the right product absolutely i think they're at the right space and we're going to talk also about the iceberg effect eventually exactly. in the presentation which that reinforces the need of yes. having a program and investigating exactly about changing the methods and, and so on yeah great Thanks everybody for um, participating in uh, the questions. Uh, just as we mentioned uh, at the end of the webinar, we will be um, uh, will be uh, how can I say that? We'll be announcing uh, which what's the surprise. Um, sorry about that. So yes, we'll be answering what the surprise is. So. Stay touch, stay in touch. We will uh, we'll continue on, and we'll actually get uh, we'll actually get into the 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 the, the, the topic. Sorry, <laughs> I was looking for the world uh, the word. Um, can't find it. But anyways, I'll let you uh, go ahead. Uh, Thank you. Right. Um, first of all, on the behalf of all of us, we're over 400 Canadian workers at uh, Superior Glove. Thank you. Uh, um, Spear Glove is a leader in, uh, in um, manufacturing of gloves in Canada. 40% of the gloves that you see on the website in our catalogs are made in Canada. We have uh, uh, three plants in Canada, one in, in Acton, Ontario, which is also our, our head office, and we have two plants in uh, Newfoundland and one in Buffalo, New York. Um, Again, what's important is that we, I'm very proud of that 40% is made in Canada. Our goal is in the next couple of years to have up to 60% of the gloves that you'll see in our website or catalog will be made in Canada. Definitely. Did you have a plant in Edmonton? Oh, or? we also have a warehouse. Thank you. Yes, we do have a warehouse in Edmonton also. Okay, because SPI, we, we, uh, we're a Canadian company. Uh, we're based out of Quebec, but we do have uh, a warehouse also in Edmonton. But we also acquired Train Safety. Uh, in BC, so I think Super Glove is actually um, oh, well, I mean, providing up all the way from like from coast to coast. Exactly, perfect. Great. Nope. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about cut protection standard. <clears throat> there is a new ANSI cut protection standard that just came out uh, effective in January 2018, which is the ANSI 105-20116. Um, in Canada, we don't have a standard. We only have recommendations. Um, in Canada, we use either the European, which is CE standard or international standard, or we use the ANSI. Uh, Actually, Ray, I'm just wondering, what are workers looking for in terms of gloves, like in the market today? Well, most of the workers, I, I, I'm, uh, I do a lot of end user calls, and what they're always asking me that has to fit well, good dexterity, and it also has to have a sizing from a big size or small size. In other words, 5 to 12. And they always ask me for Canadian sizing. And and why Canadian sizing? Well, North America, including Canada, we uh, uh, we have big hands compared to the rest of the world. <laughs> and a lot of the overseas um, uh, manufacturers make it for the other market, which are they're smaller, the gloves. So size 9 overseas will really equal to a size 8 Canadian. Okay, so that's important to take it's into very important. consideration. Exactly. And the other thing, too, is good protection. So depending on the level of protection they require, if it's a low risk or high risk, uh, the level of cut resistant, and, of course, latex-free. And, and why latex-free? Like what's... Well, 1.5% 1, 1. of the population are, have allergies to latex. 
Oh, and, really? Yes, and a lot of the gloves that come from overseas contain latex and the elastic of the uh, the cuff. Oh, okay, that that makes sense. You know, and of course, people want products made in Canada. More Absolutely, more, you know, probably so, Canadian. Exactly. <laughs> you know. All right. Now they just here and we'll talk about the difference between the ANSI and the um, EN or international uh, testing. Uh, if you notice the first wheel or the EN three eight, it's a wheel, and that's a wheel that turns. Um, they're they usually change the the blade after forty gloves that they tested. And if you go on the uh, in the red box, you'll notice there's only six levels. The blade is not uh, is not uh, replaced as quick as the uh, the ANSI standard. And testing could be done by anybody, okay, as long as they have the proper machinery to test the glove. Now, if we go on the bottom, we'll talk about the ANSI test, which is American um, the standard. Uh, it, it's a different method of testing. It's one single blade, and they change the blade every time they test a glove. Really, eh? Every, every time. Glove. <laughs> and it also has nine levels versus six of the international. And also, ANSI requires an outside known by them to test the glove. Not anybody can test the glove. Hmm. So personally, I recommend the ANSI test. Definitely, I think the credibility of the the actual test is being is enhanced when you have a certain control over yeah. the testing method. Because at the end of the day, all it counts for all of us, yourself and uh, SBI or Spear, is that the, the the workers are protected. Absolutely. That's all that counts. Definitely. This is something we uh, we put together to show you the old ANSI standard and the new ANSI cut levels. Also on your um, on your right, if you notice, is also the logo, and I'll get to that later. Um, so prior to, to uh, the, the new standard, we only had up to level five. Now we can go up to level nine. The difference is uh, the level five back at the uh, the old standard, it was a maximum of uh, only to one to five, and it was up to, about, if my memory is correct, up to 6,000 uh, grams of pressure before cut. Now they sort of split it up and made it up to level nine because the... Yeah, um, the industry was asking us to have more levels and more uh, spread apart, and this is what happened. And now for the logos, what we did at Superior, I, and I believe we're the only Canadian company that does that, is that each level of cut, like for example, level one has a different uh, has a different color than a level two, level three. So you you can recognize the worker uh, with the logo on the, the back of his hand, what level it is a cut resistance. So if it's a low risk area and he's wearing for example, um, a level seven, which is orange, well, he's wearing the wrong glove. And it's the other way around, too. It's the opposite. If it's a high risk, he's wearing um, a level one, well, there's something wrong here. So it's quicker for to to point out or even to uh, to correct the individual by him putting up putting on the right glove. Absolutely. And as part, and I, I must say as part of the surprise, a Superior Glove is going to send that poster, like a real dimension poster, yes. uh, with the surprise, which we still don't know what it is, but they're going to be sending it to customers, to you, uh, our audience, uh, the version of that poster. Exactly. So you'll be able to post it in your warehouse, in your company, so people can refer, make sure they, 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 they take ownership of their protection. Basically. Exactly. Good. Okay. Well, this is more detail now when we talk about the new ANSI cut resistant. If you see a level A1, it's 200 to 499 or 500 grams to cut before uh, grams to cut. If you look at level nine now, it's up to 6,000 plus. That's the difference. Um, if you're using a box cutter, minimum requirement is level four. Um, but keep in mind that if you don't have right now a hand protection, like most of you are looking into it, do not settle for a level four. Right now, the level six and sevens are almost at the same price as level four. So let's go get the future now. Don't wait to get a four now and then upgrade it to a six or a seven. Do it now. Absolutely. And SPI and Superior could actually go into your company and, and have an audit exactly. done to make sure that you use the proper uh, pair of gloves and, and to help you save costs as well. Like you've mentioned, exactly. if you go with the level four now and then you have to change it, then... Do it now. Yeah. To protect them now better. Yeah. And the advantage too is that most people always question about the cost of a cut-resistant glove. It is more expensive. Initial investment is higher but it lasts longer. Hmm. So then in the month, it will save you money. It also will save you all those accidents. That's the key word, accidents, no more, yeah. or almost no more. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, this is the, um, the, the international European standard, which is called the EN38. If you notice, it only has six levels. The maximum protection is uh, level F, 
which is 3,059 grams, versus the American, we have level nine, which is 6,000 grams. It's almost twice grams to cut before it cuts. It's amazing. Eh? That's why we were, we recommend the ANSI. Definitely. We're Canadian, and we should go with the, uh, the an more, ANSI standard. The, the more protection. I exactly. Think. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, also, when it comes to standards, it's not the the letter or uh, not the letter, but the number on the glove that counts. It's which standard. And if you notice, on, on the first one, we say standard an ANSI A5. You can go up to three thousand grams of pressure before you cut. Versus CE5, it's only 2,200. And we're talking 700 grams of difference. <laughs> and just to give you guys an idea, um, I weigh 220 pounds. And when I do some testing uh, with a box cutter, of course, I never have the glove in my hands. I put it on, on the table. Um, and I always put a newspaper, a wrap of newspaper inside of the glove. And I try to cut it. It, it could take me anywhere between 8 and 10 cut strikes before I cut the glove. That's a level 4 with 220 pounds of pressure and obviously we don't encourage people to God, do so no, at home no, no, <laughs> please don't. make sure you i mean the tests have been have been done right by exactly. nc so exactly it's into the norm but it's interesting to yeah, exactly and in canada the game market is that if we don't have a standard like nfpa is not a canadian standard it, it's an american standard we adopt it the same thing with uh niosh it's not a canadian uh, standard but we adopt it so we should do the same thing when it comes to hand protection we should adopt the ANSI. Uh, standard. Absolutely. We're going to see in the next couple of slides how important the injuries uh, for hands exactly. are present exactly. in the industry. Exactly. And that's superior and at SBI, our priority is simple. We we don't want the employees after work go to the hospital. We want them to go home yeah. to, to their families. And that's their goal at Superior is that we want, uh, we're want we looking for solutions for the workers so they, they're safe all the time. Absolutely. And and I think that that's why you recommend to always ask your supplier to provide exactly. a PDF or a spec sheet, uh, which will include the information of the number of grams to cut. Right? Exactly. Either a European standard or American standard. And then you, 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 you can make sure that it is the proper protection that you're looking for. And we were having a discussion earlier, Ray, as well. You've mentioned that if you the employees or the workers don't have the right hand protection, they won't wear it. They won't. So uh, it's important to... Yeah. And I've seen a lot of cases where the individual would have, for example, a fitter's glove, which is a leather glove, but he would wear it a total of two hours a day. When we gave him a sample of a, a cut-resistant glove, which has a better fit and so on, he was wearing it eight hours a day. Yeah. So, I mean, four times the uh, wear and t uh, the wear he was of the, the, the leather, and he was happy. So, yeah. And he also, uh, the fact also, uh, we saved a lot of accidents. That's the Absolutely. key thing. Absolutely, yeah. You know. Oh, here we, we're talking yeah. about the iceberg effect. Well, it's simple. The iceberg effect, something I put together to make people understand, is the, the tip of the iceberg is the wrong glove. And what we we the, um, what we don't see is what we call the hidden cost. Uh, as you know, an accident is very expensive. And would you know how much it costs as an accident of an individual if he stays home for a week? Uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's four know. times the salary. So. Oh. And not only that, oh. you lose a good employee for a week, but it does cost the company up to two thousand to four thousand dollars every week. Absolutely. For hand injury, because he was wearing the wrong glove. Uh, the other issue too is waste management. Any glove, like a rag, which is saturated with oils, you cannot dispose of it in the garbage. You need a waste management, and that cost is anywhere between seventy-five cents to a dollar twenty-five a pound. And the advantage of a, a cut-resistant glove: it's more durable. It doesn't absorb oil. It will last longer. So there's also that hidden cost. The other issue also is productivity. You increase it with a better grip because leather is very slippery versus the foam nitro and so on, which is about eight times better grip. Also, the, the productivity, if I may, Ray, when someone's injured, they're not working. It's slowing the process. It's slowing the follow-ups. Exactly. Production can be slowed as well. So yeah, exactly. those are costs to think about. Those are the hidden costs as well that yes. a company needs to think about if the worker is not wearing the, pro the proper protection. Exactly. Then it's the whole company and at the end, the end users who are paying for it, if I may say. Uh, exactly. And the thing is also is that sometimes you may have an individual that is a key factor in a certain department. Well, he's not there for a week. Yeah. It causes also problems Absolutely. for uh, you know for uh, for production and so on. Yeah. And of course, the other issue is also um, uh, the health inspectors. <laughs> the last thing we want is have any visits from these people. I mean, that's why a good hand protection program you eliminate accidents not only hand but also in safety in total. Yeah. You you don't have visits from these individuals. No, absolutely. And why don't why not be a leader in health Ex and safety and exactly 
like see upper risk management instead of just like exactly. always putting the band-aid on exactly what's well yeah. you know what's well it well okay so now we'll, we'll just talk about understanding the glove coating um there's a lot of type of coating that we can put on on the glove um the liner itself is either it's cut resistant that's the uh the first factor of cut resistant what we put on top of it like for example polyurethane it's a very light coating it's excellent for dexterity assembly lines and so on then there's what we call foam nitrile it's excellent for grip and it also 40 percent of it is more breathable and then we also have the micro uh, foam that we call which is nitrile and it's even better for wet surfaces the smooth nitro, also known as it's just nitro uh, palm, it's best for abrasion, but it's also naturally anti-static, but it has to be 100% nitro. And of course, latex, we talked about latex earlier. Some people have allergies, make sure, but latex has a, a, a good properties also. It's better puncture resistant and an excellent grip also. Yeah, so for those who are not allergic, can still consider. Uh, exactly. You know. Right. Then this, what we did is we put together, I mean, having 3,500 types of gloves, it's hard for you guys to just look on our website or in our, our catalog and choose the right glove. But this is sort of an application guide that we put together. Um, for example, if we start with the first one, which is a Kevlar glove, and we are certified Kevlar, uh, DuPont Kevlar, by the way. Um, it's a grinding uh, glove. Um, the advantage of why grinding, uh, a lot of times the grinders will be using it, and they call it the kick. Sometimes it gets jammed or whatever. The advantage is this glove here, it has excellent grip and also Kevlar, it's flame resistant. Hmm. So this advantage. The other one is a winter arc flash glove for electricians. And then the, the third one, it's a new stamping uh, glove that we, we came out for dry metal. It's a level seven. I think it's brand new, like you guys have had About a year and a half okay. ago. It's a big seller right now, the best seller right now in, uh, in Quebec. And now if you look at the, the welding gloves or the leather gloves, these are new gloves that we came out about five years ago. ago and they're our oil block series. What we did is we put a treatment on it that does not absorb oil or water. So, and we also put a Kevlar liner inside for to get the uh, A5 cut resistant level. Then the one in the middle with the impact also is, a, is the, um, the welding glove. And the last one, if you notice, is a, a, a sort of rust color and this is a cut resistant also welding glove and again oil block series we also came out with the uh, winter version we we also have the summer version we also have the electrical uh, arc flash 2 for summer or inside work people and the chainsaw glove this is something that um, i like to take two minutes to talk about yeah. our chainsaw glove is different yeah why is it different right most chainsaw gloves has uh, 12 layers of ballistic nylon uh, ours doesn't have a, a ballistic nylon what we did is we took a, a european standard um, and we put what we call kevlar hair okay on the on the back of the hand of the glove and when the chain touches it it blocks the chain really nothing will stop a chainsaw no kidding eh uh, we haven't invented the Superman glove yet. <laughs> and I think it'll be a while before it will come out. So, I mean, this is... Superman glove, you know, I love that. You can't prevent it, so let's block it. That's uh, the philosophy of Superior. And the other two gloves we, we came out is uh, the, uh, it's just a, a cut-resistant level 5 and level 4, uh, cut uh, excellent dexterity and so on. Ray, winter has arrived. Yeah. Anyway, on our side of the country, yeah. <laughs> probably on the other side as well. Uh, is the superior glove ready for winter or we've been ready since 2014 we worked with 3m to insulate division we bought a machine to test all our gloves and i think we're the only company in the industrial market that will indicates on the glove protection of the cold yeah we don't see that often eh? no we don't and uh i mean this these three are just three examples so we're looking at minus 50 celsius or 58 fahrenheit uh, there's, these are really great hot sellers, especially in areas where it's very cold, up to minus 35, minus 40. They're big sellers right now for, for uh, us. And I think Superior Glove is reviewing their application guide exactly. for the winter. So yeah. for if people are interested in in in, in having it, uh, you can send us an email. You'll see our contact information at the end. But by the end of January, January, sorry, we'll be able to to send it to you if, if it's something that's critical to you and you'd like to 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 see which winter glove would be. Obviously you can give us a call. You can yeah. you'll see our contact information, but that's something Superior Glove can provide uh, exactly with SPI. 
And then just for, just for winter gloves also, keep in mind it is a protection also, the cold. Uh, when it's very cold, people will, will come in, they will stop. Um, there, there could be also co consequences too. That's why use the right protection. Buy with the maximum protection for cold. Yeah, absolutely. That's important. I'm just going to switch back to one slide. I just forgot to mention to our audience that the application guide that we've presented to you, we're going to be, you can actually download it on, on the uh, platform uh, on your screen. You can download two, uh, two documents. One is the application guide that Ray just uh, explained to you. And the other one is our next slide, uh, which is the glove use and evaluation form. Ray can talk a bit about it as well, but I just wanted you to know that you can download it right now on the screen if you wish to uh, have a copy or you can email us at the end we can definitely send it to you well what's nice about this is something that we put together when we we got some of our glove testing in the, some of the facilities and we, ju we just wanted the feedback to find out how they found the glove if they were happy with it they weren't happy why they weren't happy and so on it's something like an audit uh, also for the um, the health and safety officer or for whoever's responsible for safety, they'll know why they don't like the glove. And I think it's important to find, reach out and talk to the employees because they're the ones are wearing it. Let's, let's know exactly why they like it and why they don't like it. And if they don't, we'll find them something that they do like. Yeah, absolutely. And, and with these forms, they can actually, uh, the OHS department can actually keep those yes. and if SBI comes in with superior glove for an audit for instance that could be uh, oh, gold yeah, information yeah, yeah, yeah. to help uh, exactly. build or or review your hand protection program exactly and I think uh, superior glove will go for, in for free with SBI to exactly. uh, to have that audit or that assessment so yes. feel free to uh, call us directly from this webinar you kind of have a privileged access to uh, Ray and, uh, and SBI if you contact us through this webinar as well so this concludes the part of the content in terms of hand protection, but we do have the surprise. Uh, also, first, the first 75 person who registered uh, were um, told that they were going to get this pair of gloves. Baby Ray, you can give us some more information uh, with about pleasure. this glove. Yeah, um, very proud to say, made in Canada. Yes. Canadian made. <laughs> um, it is a ANSI level three. It is a high performance fiber with a foam nitro excellent grip, and we do have sizing. North American or Canadian, as we say, five to twelve. Big hands. Big hands. Or small Canadian. hands. You know, so <laughs> it's it's a, a fantastic product. Perfect. So when can um, can our audience expect to have uh, that uh, sample? In the, uh, sometime in the beginning of, of January 2019. Yeah. Right after the holidays. Okay. Perfect. So the surprise now. <laughs> We've come to the end. Um, so everybody who've answered the interactive questions at the beginning, so the three interactive questions, uh, you'll be able to choose the pair of gloves of your choice to have that sample, to try it out, to see if it fits your needs, if it fits your hand. Um, so we have two, the next couple of slides are going to explain those five pair of gloves that Superior Glove has chosen to uh, provide you with. So maybe, Ray, you can give us some information on each of oh, the yes. gloves that you're offering. If we go with letter A, it, it's a liner, it's a winter liner, a protection up to minus five. But if you will use this as a liner over and use the existing glove that you have right now, you can go get up to about minus 10 to minus 15. So without changing your, your glove, you have a summer glove, just use this liner and it becomes a winter and keep you the other glove for summer. It's a good al alternate solution. A exactly. Now, yeah. um, the B is one of my favorites right now. It's, it's the one that we just came out about a year and a half ago. It's, a, it's an NC7 foam nitrile extremely high cut uh, level I highly recommend it's also got a reinforcement between the index and the uh, the thumb and C is for anybody that works with el electricity or or panels electrical panels it's an arc flash 2 and also cut resistant 4 and that one also I'm proud to say it's made in Canada we have those two other models yeah uh, the the, um, the letter D is very high uh, extremely good dexterity uh, cut resistant level 4 uh, and the other one is just a standard A5 cut resistant glove. Excellent glove also. Okay. Good. So for all of the people who have um, uh, answered the three interactive questions, here you see on your screen the five models. You can choose one pair, which will be shipped out at the same time uh, in early January, right? Exactly. Uh, so with the poster that we've mentioned yes. at the beginning. Uh, yeah, at the beginning. So take the time to see which one you like, and we'll give you a few seconds to make your choice just now. So you can choose A, B, C, D, or E. 
thank you very much to Superior Glove for providing our, our clients, our audience thank with you. The, that sample. First, it's nice. Second, will be practical to actually test the glove. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, very nice. A few more seconds. If you haven't made your choice, please do so. All right. Perfect. Uh, thanks again, Ray, for this very interesting uh, presentation Thank and you. also for the samples, as, as I just mentioned. Uh, it's very nice, very interesting. Uh, so as we just mentioned, we'll be shipping it early uh, January. If by the end of January you haven't received your samples or your surprise, uh, feel free to contact me on the email address you see on your screen. Uh, but just be aware that sometimes with shipping we have no control, but they will be shipped early January. Um, so this concludes actually our webinar schedule for 2018. Uh, thanks all for, for your participation, your active participation in our webinar this year was great. Uh, we hope that the calendar this year lived up to your expectations. The 2019 calendar will actually be released next February. So uh, we will reserve you another great year of uh, physical events and virtual events. Uh, and actually um, we do, uh, if you want to receive the, the information, we invite you to subscribe to our newsletter to receive all of the details. Uh, in addition, you can visit our social network, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, you'll find several interesting articles as well as our promotions and obviously upcoming events. Uh, before I let you go, I invite you as usual to answer our qu very quick survey in order always to help us improve ourselves, uh, be better, be the leader in, in terms of um, webinars on health and safety, uh, and also to target get your interest and see what we could be um, proposing you next year and always to continue to offer free virtual conferences just like this one. Uh, if you need any additional information, if we haven't answered your question, you want SPI, Superior Glove to go in your company, audit, assess your methods, your program, feel free to contact us. Our email address is right on the screen and uh, will be our pleasure to help you out. And on behalf of SPI, Superior Glove, I wish you all happy holidays. Enjoy your time with your loved ones. Uh, but please, above all, be safe, everybody. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now.